Hi everyone, I'm Whitney and I post sewing and crafting tutorials here on my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really cute painted snowman decor piece for this holiday season. It's pretty easy to make and no previous painting skills are required at all. This video is actually a collab with Ariana Flutter and over on her channel she's going to be showing how to make some really awesome snowflake string art. So after you watch this video make sure to go over to her channel and check out her video and subscribe if you like what you see. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you check out some of my other videos and subscribe if you like what you see. And without further ado, let's get into the painting project. You will need to round up a few supplies including a pencil and permanent marker, water to clean your brushes in, a paint palette, a variety of brushes, paints, and a board. My board is a 1x10 cut to 24 inches long, but use whatever size you want, and if you don't want to use wood, you can definitely use a canvas instead. Use your pencil to draw a simple snowman onto the board. It's okay to make mistakes because it will all be painted over later. Then grab a blue paint and begin painting all the space around the snowman. You can use a large brush in the big areas and a smaller brush for the edges right against the snowman. Let it dry for a few minutes, then give it a second coat. Now it's time to fill in the snowman. I painted each section of the snowman in sort of circular motions from the center going out to mimic how a snowball is rolled to be formed. Give it two coats if needed. While I still had the white paint out, I used the back end of a few different paintbrushes to stamp some dots to represent stars or snowflakes. Use a small brush to fill in the carrot nose. And I cut a kitchen sponge into a circle to stamp the eyes, but use whatever you have. You can even glue on buttons instead of painting eyes. Then use the eraser end of a pencil to stamp the mouth. Then to take the painting up a notch, use a permanent marker to freehand an outline just inside the snowman. This helps the painting look more complete. And that's it. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to put a hanger on the back and hang this piece up or just prop it up near our Christmas tree. Leave a comment below letting me know which way you would display a piece like this. Don't forget to check out Ariana's DIY and it will be linked in the information icon right up there. And next week I'm actually going to be showing how to make a mini quilt that is identical to the painting that we did today. And if you don't want to miss out on that, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and you can do so by clicking my picture right there. And if you want to check out some of my other videos, there will be two linked over to the side. I'll come back next Wednesday for that mini quilt tutorial and I will see you all then. Bye!